Mantu, and Anna was um, my special guest at our Capper's Luncheon last week, and I wanted her to just kind of share with you a couple of her ahas and what she thought about the Capper's Luncheon. But first, Anna, can you tell us just a little bit about yourself? Absolutely. Yeah. So I'm Anna Mantu, um, formerly my singer, just got married. And I've been in real estate for two years, started with Maxim One and switched to Keller Williams, best decision I have ever made career-wise. I've been doing a very successful real estate business uh, since I've been with Keller Williams. And in hopefully six months, hopefully to the day, I will have capped, but I haven't quite capped. I'm about one transaction from capping. So Brandy asked me to the <laughs> Capper's Luncheon, which was really sweet and special, and I felt very privileged to be there. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it was really good. Awesome. It was um, such a great afternoon. Yes. I would love for you to kind of give a little recap of what you felt about the speaker yeah. and the event in general. So we'll, we'll start with what your, some of your ahas were okay. from the day. Yeah. Um, well, first I want to say when I walked in, I felt special. I mean, it, I felt like Keller Williams kind of went over the top to make it a it feels like an event like it's not it's like almost like it felt like a wedding venue a little bit like it was it it wasn't just show up at some random restaurant or whatever it was very well done tablecloths catering servers the whole thing so so immediately i felt special just walking into the event um but then you know having that speaker there at first he's a former bj football player yes. and at first I was like this is not going to translate <laughs> Uh, let's see what this guy's got, you know, but it was really good. He was really good. I was very motivated, 100%. Um, you know, when he talked about the statistic that, you know, 0.008% make it to um, play college football. Um, and then Dina spoke and talked about, you know, very, you know, I can't remember. I can't percentage. remember this. It does. It's a low percentage. Make it past two years in real estate, and then even lower. Make it past five. And the fact that I just hit my two-year mark in real estate, I felt kind of like, yay, like you know, motivated. To, I'm right. gonna make it to that five years. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, you know, and then rubbing shoulders with a lot of people that I've seen and and in her speak because of their success and getting to be with them face to face mm -hmm. and, and talking to them about absolutely their success and what what they attributed to. So that was that was really really cool, and it just. You know, it felt really special being there. Yeah, so. it was a fun afternoon. Yeah, it was yeah. a fun afternoon. Um, and so the next one's going to be May the 5th. Yes. And um, our goal is for you to be an official invitee, yes, right? Yes, absolutely. That is my goal, too. And I, I, I will be. I will be I there as an will. official capper. That's so, exciting. That's yeah. exciting. So we do the Capper's Luncheon um, four times a year. Um, the next Capper's Luncheon will be May the 5th. So everyone that um, caps um, that, that wasn't invited to the first one, if you cap between now and then, you will be invited to the next Capper's Luncheon. And we plan to raise the bar every single time. Yeah. Um, it is an exclusive event. And I yeah. think um, that's one of the fun things about it is yeah. that um, you, you should feel special. Yeah. You've accomplished a huge goal. Mm -hmm. And uh, we want you to feel special about yeah. that. So. Yeah. Awesome. Well, hopefully you guys will save the date for May the 5th. For the next one, I would love to have every single agent there. That would be yes. awesome. <laughs> so great. as we wrap it up, tell me one thing, if you had to share one tip that you really felt like has, you know, propelled you into such a success in your first two years, what would be the one thing that you would say um, you, would, you would attribute that to? Um, I would probably say, and one of the reasons I joined Keller Williams is um, accountability. So uh, I didn't have a lot of that in my previous brokers. Uh, but when I joined Keller Williams, um, I personally do coaching with Kristen, but it wasn't something I had to do. It was something I chose to do because Keller Williams already implements, like Brandy's also my coach. That is just something that you get when you join with Keller Williams. At, and, and so I didn't, I took a, an extra step, but I still coach with Brandy mm -hmm. every other week. And, and, and her accountability and the accountability I get from Kristen you know, I feel like, and I'm not just alone in it, I get their advice, but I also feel like I don't want to let them down. You right. know, I'm like, I, they gave me some goals, we set goals, and I want to reach those goals, and I know in two weeks I'm going to be talking with about my goals. So yes. um, the accountability has been huge for me, and I love that here at Keller Williams, I get that no matter what. I just chose to take it a little bit further, but I it's been that. tremendous for my success. Yeah, I always say, at Keller Williams, you're in business for yourself, just yes. not by yourself. Yes. <laughs> 100% agree. Yes. Um, and as far as accountability, you know, I've been in the industry 13 years. I still have a coach I, yes. I work with every week. Um, you can't value excellence and fair accountability. I mean, mm -hmm. I think those that want to succeed at a high level, yes. if you were to look at the, the commonality, mm -hmm. it would be having that accountability partner who's right. there to help keeping you move forward in your business. Yeah. Well, thanks, Anna. Yes, thank you. And hopefully we'll see you all on May 5th at the next Capper's Luncheon. Yes.